Servant of the Bones by Anne Rice I want you to tell me the whole story. You do believe in it. That's why you came. To tell it all. Well, let's say that I will finish. Because someone should know. Someone should record. And out of courtesy for you, because you are gracious, and you listen, and I think you want to know. I do. But I must tell you how difficult it was to imagine such cruelty, to imagine that your own father gave you up to it, and to imagine a death so contrived. Do you still forgive your father? Not at the moment, he said. That's what I was talking about that telling it did not produce forgiveness. It drew me close to him, to tell it, to see him. He wasn't as strong as you, on that he was right. A silence fell between us. I thought of Rachel Belkin, the murder of Rachel Belkin, but I said nothing. Did you like walking in the snow? I asked. He turned to me in surprise and smiled. It was very bright and kind. Yes, I did. But you haven't eaten your supper which I warmed for you. No, sit there. I'll get it. And one of your silver spoons. He was as good as his word. I ate a bowl of the stew as he watched with his arms folded. I put aside the empty plate and at once he took it and then the spoon. I heard the sound of running water as he washed them. He brought back to me a small clean bowl of water and a towel, as someone might have done in another country. I didn't need it, but I dipped my fingers and I used the cloth to wipe my mouth clean, which felt rather comforting, and he took these things away. It was now that he saw the little boat television set with its built-in handle and tiny screen. I'd probably left it too near the fire. I felt a surge of embarrassment, as though I had spied upon his world while he was gone, as if to verify things he said. He looked at the thing for a long moment and then away. It works. It talked to you. He asked without enthusiasm. News from some local town. Network, I think. Coming through the local channel. The Belkin temples have been raided, people arrested. The public is being reassured. He waited a long time before he answered. <laughs>